What's going on everyone? Roscoe here. We are back. It has been confirmed that we can expect two new colorways coming in the Yeezy slides. Now this is all coming from Yeezy Mafia himself. Actually, one of the pairs we have seen Ye wear already during his photo shoot for GQ Magazine that he did earlier this year. But before we dive into that, I do have a little bit of information on those Yeezy foam runners. It has been very quiet, and ever since we've seen leaked images of it, you know, I thought it would have dropped by now, or we would have a release date, because I was super excited about this sneaker, especially for this upcoming summer. But the information that I do have kind of makes sense of why it's been quiet. This happened on Instagram. They ended up posting a pair of Yeezy foam runners. Lead Yeezy sneaker designer, Steven Smith, replied to someone's comment that said, hey, I thought these are supposed to be made in the USA. Steven Smith replied back stating, legit pairs will be made in the USA. Fakes are made in China. So basically, if you see anybody with a pair of foam runners right now, they are 100% fake. The Yeezy foam runners will be made in the USA. And that kind of explains why there is no release date or we don't have them by now because of what's going on in the world. That is what I wanted to share because honestly, it stinks that we don't have them because I think this is again, a little bit of a missed opportunity because this would have been a killer vibe for the summer. I don't know when the foam runners are gonna be coming out. Hopefully by the end of summer, you know, maybe everything will be back to normal by then and we'll get them. Right now we have no update on the Yeezy Foam Runners as far as a release. As soon as I get more information, I will keep you guys up to date on that. Now, I actually wanna do a little bit of unboxing to mix it up because I did just get this in and I don't know where to fit it in, but I wanna share with you guys anyways. I might as well throw a unboxing in this as well. I actually just picked this up, came in pretty, pretty quick. Now, let me open this. I am a huge Palace fan. I love Palace clothing. So their new summer collection is absolutely fire and I've been dabbing into some of the pieces. And this is from their Palace summer collection, summer 2020. And this is a crew neck that just came Woof! This is so fire. It's just a white with gray and it says Palace all embroidered. And it says sports jeans, the collection since 2009. I don't know, this kind of reminds me of like an old school, you know, I don't know how to describe it, like old 2000 vibe. I think it's so fire and I really like this color. So throw a nice fit together and I got a hat to match. And they always throw some stickers in there. So they gave me a palace sticker, no glow in the dark. Usually they do a regular palace and then they have the glow in the dark version. But here is the hat. Yeah, the hat is fire, man. You guys know, I love my hats, man. I think Palace makes some of the best hats you can possibly get. So this is the towel hat, kind of gray, gray with the white P. It matches, kind of, you know, put the fits together. All that nice towel material. Here you go, so this is what I picked up. So I got a crew neck, hat to match. Aliens, maybe? Woo. All right, now let's get into these two new colorways of the Yeezy slides. They're gonna be called Soot and core. Now the soot colorway is basically an all black Yeezy slide, but with a Yeezy earth tone twist to it. Soot is an all black powdery substance, usually formed from carbon, and it's like the leftover materials uh, that hasn't been fully burnt up. So you'd see it on the side of your chimneys. Now I've stated that if they'd done an all black Yeezy slide, it would be absolutely a hit for them. I would say the Yeezy slides have been very successful to begin with. I mean, when they first dropped, everybody was hating on them. I remember when I posted a picture on them and I got so many trash comments. Awful, those are hideous. And I seen celebrities even come out and say how bad they look. And then the second drop around, I mean, I'm sitting in a waiting room for 45 minutes because I can't even get through to purchase them because there's so many people trying to grab them. I would say it was probably one of the biggest flip flops I've seen in the sneaker community. Now, if you look at the original Yeezy slides, they are going for a crazy amount of money. You know, they retail for 55 bucks, so it's very super affordable. And I knew that going into it. I mean, for that price point, you know people were just curious to check them out and see how comfortable they really were. They sold out instantly, and you look at resale value, they're going for 200 plus. And I wish I can go back in time and try to scoop up some extra pairs because those, for 55 bucks, and sell it for three times the amount. So it's a good day, I would say. So if they add any more new colorways, I knew it was gonna be very successful. And then with an all black colorway in there, those are gonna be a problem for sure though. I am super excited about it. I cannot wait for the soot colorway. I think it's the better one out of the two. Now the second colorway is called Core. Now looking at this image, I don't really know what this colorway is to be honest. 
I don't know if it's like a greenish gray. I really can't tell to be honest. Um, it's super earth tone, it's very Yeezy-esque. You know, sometimes with these images, I don't know if the person edited it enough to look at like another colorway, so we're gonna have to wait and find out. Right now, I'm definitely going soot over core. They both will sell out. Like I said, the Yeezy slides are a huge hit for 55 bucks. You know people are gonna go for them anyways. So I have the original pair. I actually got this from a friend, the Desert Sand, because they dropped them in LA super, super early. I was able to get this pair super, super early. And as soon as I got them in hand, I was like, why is everybody hating on these? Like they're big and bulky, but they're super light. They're made out of this EVA foam. Takes a little time to break them in. You know, give it a day or so. Your foot just slides right in there and it just sinks in. Honestly, it's been one of my most worn shoes of 2020. This is absolutely an awesome slide. It's one of my favorite slides I've ever owned. I'm actually curious because I really want to do a boost slide and a Yeezy slide comparison. So maybe I'll do that in the near future. Now here's the Earth Brown colorway. The reason why I got this one is because I like the Earth Brown 350 V2s and it's the same colorway. So I figured I'll get this desert sand, the resin, the bone, more of a lighter shade. So that's why I've been super excited if they dropped an all black pair. You know, I do want to wear these outside the house, but I don't want to look at the dirt and grime at the bottom. Once I get that all black pair, I'm wearing them outside. But let me know what you guys think of the two new colorways, the soot and the core. Which one do you think is the best out of the two? If I'm going to pick right now, I think soot is a must, must cop for me. And I'm hopefully, you know, they drop more colorways in the near future. I mean, it's kind of just one molded shell. Is it that difficult to make? You know, I can just picture, you know, this foam, melted foam going into this shell and someone pressing it, burp, pop, these come out. I, I don't think they would be too difficult to make, so hopefully we get a ton more colorways. Get like a Yeezy Slide V2, that'd be pretty cool as well. Drop the foam runners, bro. I cannot wait for those. And plus the foam runners are gonna be probably made out of the same EVA foam as these. But guys, let me know again down in the comments what you guys think of the soot and the core colorway, which one you're gonna go for. That is my video for you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and smash that like button for me and subscribe to the channel. And like always, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.